creates a great exercise that we can utilize to work with the transverse abdominis, which provides us rotation in the right area, rather than getting an excessive rotation in the lumbar spine or lumbar muscles. We want to start focusing on rotation happening exclusively in the thoracic spine and more importantly, our transverse abdominis. We would introduce some type of a bigger ball structure such as this that emphasize our alignment points and more importantly, our hip extension. Remember, in some of these key features, when you're doing an exercise such as this, the back toe is going to be engaged more so than being flat, because of course, big toe extension drives hip extension. Okay, so when I'm setting up with this, this is not the most ideal situation. It's better to use a cable system, but if you didn't have that, you could use a band such as this. Again, big focus is shoulder girdles down and back, pelvis underneath you. I'm gonna to try to create space here too. If I'm using a cable system, I use a rope, one of those tricep ropes, to pull apart. And you're gonna keep that emphasis of pulling the set apart, keeping tension in both of those areas, in the hip area and then the shoulder blades. I'm gonna rotate out here, and then as I make my way back, really slow and steady and controlled. So again, deceleration, keeping the composure of my alignment. Remember, your head may wanna tip forward. You may also wanna to arch to your lower back. You're gonna refrain from both of those elements, keeping everything nice and locked in. Again, I go up kind of fast and then try to decelerate on the way back, earning that same alignment. Things to look out for as well, the wrist can typically go up, which causes me to shrug up into my ears. So I feel like as if you're starting a throttle on some type of a vehicle. And that will help you keep your wrist down and back. Go out, bring yourselves back in. Once you're done with this, you would switch legs. Do the opposing leg again, squeezing the ball, and then of course 